First step is to take off all this crap <laughs> most of us have on our refrigerators. I'm just going to use one of my jars so that I don't lose them. You know, these black refrigerators are really pretty, but man, when they get smudged up, they can begin to look really bad. Look at all those smudges. And if your refrigerator is right beside your stove, lordy be, then you get grease spots, all kind of stuff that stick to the side of the refrigerator from the stove and from cooking, of course. Yeah, I'm getting ready to go to work on this. I'm going to cover the stove with a dishcloth or anything that you prefer to protect the stove while cleaning. Two, I grabbed a soap pad. I added a little water. And full disclosure, I tested a small portion of my refrigerator with this soap pad before I went to work on the entire refrigerator because I wanted to make sure the soap pad would not scratch my refrigerator. And for some reason, maybe because of the grooves in my refrigerator, it did not leave any scratches on the refrigerator. So I decided to go ahead and do the whole refrigerator with the soap pad, but you can use any thing that you normally use to clean your refrigerator. I'm going to show you how to shine it after it's cleaned. Okay, making sure to keep this soap pad um, pretty soapy. If you have to, go back and get more water. And I'm just going to make sure I scrub down the whole side over here on the side of the stove. I started here because I knew this would be the worst side to clean. I'm getting the hard work out the way because the rest of the refrigerator shouldn't be too bad. Okay, I'm scrubbing, scrubbing. And I'll scrub this down maybe two times, making sure I get all the spots in the grease off this side of the refrigerator. Now I'm gonna grab one of my favorite cloths, which is the microfiber cloth, and I'm gonna soak this cloth down real good. And then I'm going to wring it, but uh, what I want to make sure is not dripping. I don't need a mess. Just enough to get the suds off. Okay, wringing it out so that I don't have any drips. Now I'm going in. All right, this is the first rinse. And, you know, while, while you're rinsing, uh, you're looking at the refrigerator. And uh, you're noticing things. Are all the spots vanishing or not and uh, it's not looking too bad so far however I am seeing some little spots that are still left yeah so I'm gonna go back in with the uh, Brillo pad one more time to see if I can bring these spots up and off this refrigerator Scrubbing a little harder now. Okay, that should do it. And now I'll rinse this side one more time. Looking pretty good. I can go to the front. All right, going around the front, I'm going to do the same identical thing. Scrubbing with my Brillo soap pad. And I'm making sure I do the sides of the refrigerator and uh, not leaving anything undone. I'm going to even open the refrigerator and do the inside panel of the refrigerator. And uh, don't forget your top. The top of the refrigerator, the top of the doors. I'm not going to show it, but you know what I'm talking about. All right, this is what it looks like after I rinsed all the suds off. Nice and shiny, but it's still wet. Now, this is what it looks like after it's dried a couple minutes. All the smudges are gone, but it has a flat type of look to it. All right, I'm going to take my extra virgin olive oil because I love my refrigerator and I want to give it the best. But you can use any oil that you want, actually. And I'm going to pour it into a, a little jar or a tray or a flat dish. And this is what I'm going to use. This is what I get my best results from. That's all I can say. <laughs> but like I said, you can use any oil you want. And I'm going to take a piece of barley or a piece of napkin and dip it into the oil 
Now I'm going to begin spreading the oil across the entire refrigerator. I'm going to start on the side I actually started on with cleaning. And I'm going to try to make sure the oil gets in every groove. And as you can see, it's really, really coming up pretty good. I'm taking my time. I'm showing it some love. Okay, continuing to wipe down the side. Sometimes you might have to get some more oil on that uh, piece of bounty or napkin, whatever you're using. And as you can see, it's really coming up nice. And let me tell you, this shine should last you for at least three weeks. Three weeks to a month. Wow. Look at that shine. Isn't that beautiful? And again, don't forget, test before you use Brillo. Because I don't want to hear y'all talking about, I help you scratch your refrigerator. All right, as you can see, I'm on the front side. And I'm doing the exact same thing with the oil. Making sure it gets in every groove. Ooh. That's what I'm talking about. Making sure I get under those handles. And now I'm going to even do the handles with my olive oil. Oh yeah. Handles inside the outside can y'all see the difference between that handle and the handle i just did Ooh, big difference huh oh yeah okay finishing up on these handles and uh the other side of the refrigerator Ooh, what y'all say that refrigerator is looking some kind of good and this shine i'll tell you again it will last for a while I hope y'all didn't forget the top of the refrigerator. Don't forget to do the top. <laughs> it takes a little time, but it's all worth it. Look at this. And even around the ice tray, I put the uh, olive oil. Made it look much better. And now I'll proceed to clean it. The water in the ice area. Looking a-okay. Excellent. All right, y'all. Let's finish up. Let's finish up the water in the ice area. I'm going to turn this light on. You can see all the smudges. And I'm going to take this tray out. And I'm going to um, soak it in the sink. Clean it up. And I'm going to clean out the bottom of the tray. And I'm going to clean out this little spout, too. I'm going to grab a tray or a bowl, put water in it, and mix it with a little vinegar. I'm going to dip the, uh, a Q-tip into the vinegar and water, and I'm going to go up in this little spout and give it a good cleaning. And you want to be careful not to use chemicals, so I'm using vinegar and water because our ice and water comes down in this, in this area, and I'm going to do the whole area with vinegar and water. Meanwhile, I might as well clean my little refrigerator ornaments. Might as well. All the plastic and things. I'm going to soak them and clean them so they can be clean too. 